So in this market today, uh, Colin, as we wrap up here in this market today, are you more prone to buy and hold or are you more prone to flip or does it depend? You know, the older I get, the, the more, uh, I kind of regret not holding more because when you're, you're flipping, you know, hundred houses a year, that's a lot of income. That's a lot of nice money you can use to live in a nice house, send your kids to nice schools, go on overseas trips and, and all that kind of stuff. And that's, I'm, I'm very grateful for that, but that's, you know, to get wealthy, you need to own property for, for a long period of time. And there's a bunch of other tax benefits from owning property. So I'm much more inclined to own, you know, to keep the properties I have, for example, I've got seven in the pipeline. Now I'm, I'm keeping three of them. You know, and I'm trying to kind of operate on, on that kind of mindset. Whereas before I literally used to sell 80 and keep three, you know, or two. Um, so, you know, I, I can't tend to forget that, you know, whether I, I could either sell it now for a quick, say $35,000 profit or I could keep it. And so I used to think, well, I'm not getting the 35,000, but of course you are, it's still there. It hasn't gone anywhere. You just decided not to cash it in yet and pay taxes on it yet. So if you have enough money coming in from some other stuff, or if you need one or two flips, will keep you going. I think if you focus on a plan for building that wealth and building those passive income streams, uh, it's it's much better. So I'm I'm much more focused, especially with inventory being so low. If you get a if I get a great house, I'm much more inclined to keep it now than I than I would have been before. Yeah, well, you know what you just said reminds me of the principle that is the case in most cases, and that is. The longer you own a property, the more profitable it is. Yes, for, sir. For many reasons that you just said. Colin, thank you so much for joining me on the show. Parting comments, my friend. Parting comments. Um, any kind of main piece of advice for your listeners would be to, you know, that a healthy attitude to risk is, is essential, I think. Uh, if you aren't prepared to take some risks, you'll probably end up working for someone who is, and, you know, kind of in parallel to that, try and develop some resilience. I think it's, it's more important than, than being really smart or being lucky. It's just being resilient that if you, you're able to keep going when other people give up and, and just do that. And, and the third thing, Jay, is uh, just get a good night's sleep, do some exercise. That'll give you a lot more clarity on, on your thoughts and your goals and, you know, getting good stuff done in the day ahead.